Alright guys, it's me again. Now I think of you saw the title, so a thumbnail, you know what this video is about. There's another mesh method that's coming into the light. And uh, yeah, this method is related to the basilisk, as you guys could probably tell from the thumbnail again. But uh, yeah, huge credit to everyone who sent me this um, exploit. I know a bunch of you guys have been like spamming with these exploits over the last like few days. And I took the time and actually compiled all of them and I made a video like make all of those exploit into a video they're actually like two different kinds of like exploit but it's it's pretty much the same thing it's just two different ways to do it but anyways um i hope this definitely bring light to the situation now i don't really think there is a counter to it however i can't tell you what to look out for if you're defending your base but hopefully this will get very um patched very soon so everyone doesn't have to worry about it but anyways I'm going to show you guys quickly how to use this method the two different ways you can do it and then I'm going to show you two different caves and uh, yeah that's pretty much it because this method allows you to bring the entire dino under the mesh um, it will be able to bypass many anti-mesh so I think this is why this method is very broken but anyways uh, enough talk and let's get straight into it right so what you need is you need a basilisk and a giant turtle mega shilling whatever it's called Right, the basilisk does not uh, matter, like the level does not matter, you can have any level basilisk you want. Um, you want to level it in full stamina, the turtle also doesn't matter, however if... I'm going to tell you a case where it does matter in a, uh, in a bit, but for now, let's just say it doesn't matter. The level of the Mega Shillin does not matter if you're trying to like measure a cave or something. Um, it doesn't matter as long as you have a Mega Shillin, do you don't even need a saddle, you just need it, and then you throw it on top of where you want to mesh. So right now I'm pretty much using an entire like big area so you guys can clearly see how this works right anyways what you want to do is kind of just charge straight into the leg you just charge straight into the leg of the mega shellen and then wiggle your way and off you go you drop straight down to the mesh so this is the first way you can pretty much do it now this method is very broken because of how easy it is to do you can do it anywhere it doesn't matter as long as the place fits a mega shellen you can do it so it doesn't have to be a slope it doesn't have to be like a uh, special place, it's not a mesh hole, you can do it anywhere on the map, so any caves will pretty much can get meshed by this method. I know many of you guys is going to say, oh there's mesh protection, yeah but mesh protection doesn't protect everything, especially if you're on a dino, it's even worse, and most caves actually have like places where it doesn't have mesh protection, so just having mesh protection is definitely not enough to protect you. If you want to argue about it, feel free, I've like, I've played this game more than enough to know that there are places that you can mesh because there's people complaining to me that they got meshed so yeah anyways I'm just gonna show you guys one more time how you do it you might just go straight here to the legs between the legs and the body and you go full straight down right so I'm just gonna get back up and I'm going to show you guys the other way where I can do it and this method allows you to pretty much do it in like an even like worse scenario where if people have turrets above the base you can still do it Right, because the Mega Shillings have such a big health pool and you can completely cover the survivor, the main problem is the basses, right? Yeah, problem is, this method allows you to do it while you are underground. You can do it while you are digging. So, I'm just going to dig here real quick. And I'm going to charge straight into the leg. So this is the second way I'm telling you how to do it. You charge straight into the leg, and then as like the exact same way where you are above ground and you're charging into the leg, you can do it while underground. Over the entire period, I have not spent a single second above ground. So as long as you have significant stamina, you will be able to completely get under the mesh, even if there's like a turret tower right next to you. Because the turret tower will be able to kill the mega shell in time, and with this basilisk, you'll be able to absolutely just mesh any base possible. And yeah, there's just no counter to it at this point. But yeah, um... That is like the very broken method, the two ways, just above ground way if there's like foundation and stuff so you can't use those to prevent them. The below ground method where if there's um, turrets and stuff, so I guess the only thing you can do is have turret tower and foundation spam above your base if you want to protect yourself. I think that is the only way. Anyways, let's cut to the actual cave and see how this works. Right, so we're currently at um, the above the ice cave. As you guys know, I really like to use the ice cave for example, it's one of the biggest cave, one of the most built cave in this game. Right, so we're in the ice cave right now, or above the ice cave. You saw the courts, right? Mega Shun's right there. Um, anywhere around here will work, again the slope doesn't even matter. The courts are right here. This is where, if you have the ice base, you would want to like 
place your foundations, place your teleporters, place your turret towers. You pretty much have to like defend yourself if you don't want to get meshed by this method. Right, again, you just charge straight into the leg and then boom, you're completely under the mesh. Now make sure you do this mount while you're here because Basis takes a lot of fall damage for some reason. Now if you are going to tell me you can just have turrets here, yeah that's not going to work as well because the fact that it doesn't have to be at this exact location. You can calculate the exact coordinates you want to be in in single player and you can just mesh like here for example, like in the mesh. You can fall straight into the mesh because you're on a basilisk and you can shoot poison. You can just kill people's tame even if they have like mesh protection or something. And even worse right, you can also dig underground while you're in the cave. So you can go like behind the cave or somewhere around the cave or in the cave and then you can just dig underground, right? And then charge into people's turret tower or like, I don't know, those um, defense war or death war, anything, all that crap. You can charge into those and yeah, that's very broken. But that's the ice cave. I'm going to show you guys the center cave right now. I'm just going to show you guys two cave. I cannot be bothered recording five cave. You guys know, like if it works on two cave, it's going to work on the other ones. Right, so for the center cave, you're pretty much at this exact coordinates right now. So you can see on screen. Now again, this entire plateau me to be spam off. Center cave is, I would say, the second most built cave in this game. Maybe oil cave also competes, but whatever. The entire platform needs to be spammed off pretty much above your cave. So again, you just, you know, line yourself up behind a turtle, charge straight into it. Now sometimes it does, like, glitches a bit, so you just have to wiggle your way and then you get into it. Now the good thing about center cave is it has this, like, second layer of protection. The bad thing is this protection is dog shit because you can like override it by just being retarded, being charging like straight towards the mesh for some reason it disappears in front of you. Don't know why, like what's the reason of having another layer if it's just going to disappear when you go forward but yeah. Anyways if you stay up there you can shoot rockets down, shoot poison down or you can just fall down, dig underground and then charge into people's tower and all that crap. Yeah, that's like the two caves I wanted to show you guys. That's the method I want to show you guys. Again, credit to everyone who sent me this. Thanks everyone for like bringing um, this method to my attention so I can make a video on it so more people know about it. Hopefully it will get fixed. Finger crossed. But yeah, again, you can mesh like all, all the way around here. Like any argument that says like there's mesh protection is just bullshit at this point because there's so many non-mesh protection spots that people know about in this game. Like... Even if there's 90% of the place which has mesh protection, the other 10% doesn't. And if people know where the other 10% is, they can just mesh there, right? Mesh protection does not completely prevent meshing. You have to not only have mesh protection, but also not have the ability to mesh or have the ability for other people to mesh. That's about it from me. Hope you guys take something out from this video and actually defend your base. But yeah, I'm going to see all legends in the next one. Peace out.